Good morning everybody, welcome back. Um, today we are going to work on some elements that we're going to add later this week into our um, reference journal, which I've got pulled out here. Um, this is the page we're going to work on later in the week, but I thought rather than doing it all in one video because it would be too long and I'm struggling here guys with my internet, so I've got to keep my videos fairly short. Um, we're going to break it up into a couple of different things. So the first thing I wanted to do, I played around this weekend making a belly band. And this is what I came up with. And I absolutely love how it came out. This is combining fabric with paper. And uh, most of you have probably done this in your journals. Maybe you haven't. Um, I just want to show how quick and easy it is to make that. And I got these butterfly buttons. That was a purchase I made uh, a couple weeks ago. So we've got this done and I am going to show you how easy it is to make this. You know the strips that you get in the jelly rolls. Um, I was gifted these a while back and that's how I made the base of it because these are just um, awesome for the slow stitching Anything that's small that you don't need a lot of fabric, I know that you can get these at Tuesday morning. Sometimes those are, um, you'll get them there. Of course, Joann's, if you've got your coupon, you can pick them up there. But it doesn't have to be um, from that. You can just use any kind of strip. Just decide how wide you want it. Um, this is about... Two, yeah, that's about two inches. So, um, if you like that width, that's what I worked with, and it's it's a nice because I just want it peeking through, as you can see. And I've combined paper, laces, um, this kind of like a burlap trim, and it just really came out pretty. I thought so. This one we're going to work on today, and let me grab some. Paper. Paper, because those are going to be a slightly different color for that one. So. And again, these are papers that I've printed out, guys. So again, these are just all shoved in this. This is where I keep all my scraps and then uh, various papers, which I need to do a sort out because <laughs> I see some of these I know I'm not going to be working with. I'm not going to do that because I've got that one. That's a double sided, so I want to use that in my journal. So I like the looks of this one, I think. This is another Artie Mays. Okay, so... I don't know, these are nice as well. I think I'll use that one. This is all from, uh, I believe this was her floral collage. She's got a couple of sets in her shop um, on Etsy if you're interested in those. So I just took various pieces of leftover scrap fabrics because I've got a huge amount. Now that I like because look at that. The contrast on that is going to be really pretty. Um, grab my scissors here guys. So they still end up thin enough, but it does have a lot of nice textures, and I just take anything. You know my drawer, I've showed you guys so many times um, where I take everything and then I, I go through and do my um, 
snippet rolls, which by the way, I must try to find some time this week to do. I love those. <laughs> I absolutely love making snippet rolls. So I think I'm going to put this over here. Don't, don't think about it too much, guys. And then run that through the machine, get that, and then just keep building on it. Because, in fact, I think this one, I'll put that on the top. So let me get some music paper scraps. Let me see where I got them. I mean, look at, that's some leftover um, <clears throat> coffee dyed paper. I'm going to actually use some of that. And I'll just tear it down a bit. Because I don't want to completely cover that, you see. Just want a little bit of it peeking through. And if you feel <clears throat> that you want to, just pin these down. Um, before you take it to the machine, but I'm just going to kind of lay it out here. Actually, I'll put that over here. I'm just going to keep laying this until I get it the way I like it. You don't have to use uh, any of the digitals if you don't like that look. You could just have this with just plain papers and um, fabric. I mean, you could just do it fabric as well, but I, I just kind of like mixing it up a bit. I actually think I'm going to put this behind. And then something like that with that piece kind of like the focal point and then we'll come back in and stitch the button somewhere and we might add a little bit more but let me take this over and stitch it and come back and then you can see how I've got it all arranged and that way it'll be easier to show you okay guys I just wanted to stop at this point so you can see so I've just taken a couple pieces, you know, that was the leftover coffee dyed paper with the doily print. And then this is one piece of the fabric, and I've just done a zigzag there, and the other is just a straight stitch. But you can see already you're starting to get a lot of real interesting textures going on. So I'm going to carry on just layering that with a few other bits uh, here and there, and then you'll see the end result. Be right back. Alrighty guys, let me take you back down here so you can see now. And of course this is the back, the fabric. And these are really nice because <clears throat> you can just stitch that onto your page and it's got it's gonna um, your journal cards will, will move in easy, you know, because you got nothing that it's gonna get hung on. But you can see I just used a couple of different stitches here and then I wanted this hanging over so that we didn't have that um, zigzag cut on both sides. I wanted to break that up a bit so it looks a bit more, you know, rustic. Um, so yeah, now I'm just going to get the butterfly stitched on. And I've got some of this really old lace and then I thought a little bit of cheesecloth just to kind of frame him a bit more, kind of like he's, I don't know, going uh, fluttering on something, I guess. <laughs> That's my thinking. <laughs> so I hope you guys have all had a really nice weekend. Uh, we've had kind of some rain this weekend, but that's okay. We really did need it, so I'm not going to complain. Um, you could also, with this, if you want to add some phrases, feel free, you know, that would be really nice to have a nice um, bit of wording. Okay. 
I had to get a really small needle for this. Those holes are so tiny on these buttons, but I spotted these um, and just thought they were so cute. I'd pick them up. I generally use, you know, the stuff I just pick up from the flea market and car boots, but these were just too cute. Alrighty guys, so there you have it. That's how I've made those. I absolutely love how this one came out because, uh, let me take you back up and you can see a little bit better. That really pulls those darker pinks out. And I like this one as well because I like the green. So there you go guys. There's another idea for an embellishment for your journal. Um, some belly bands. And as I said, we'll carry on uh, in the next video. I will show you, let me see if I can find it here, I've got another embellishment we're going to work on in the next one. How sweet is that? So stay tuned guys, take care of yourselves, and uh, I'll see you back here shortly.